Everybody respect me. Okay. Um, Sherry, do you think it is legal to burn a flag as a form of political pro protest? Um, I think, of course, we have the right to do things we want to do. However, after the discussion, both of us think that it is not it is not appropriate to burning flags. It's like insulting your nation, and um, it's not respectful for your country at all. So I think it's inappropriate. And now we are going to look um, some foreigners' response about the question. Okay. Um, there is only one one person that agrees that burning the flag is legal. And that is from the Span. Okay, we see what Span talk, Spanish talk. He thinks that, okay, for Span, it is illegal, of course. And however, personally speaking, they say, um, he says that it's like a fabric. Okay, that can be burned if we want to do so. It shouldn't see, be seen as a big deal or take it too seriously as long as they don't bother others or endanger people's lives, all right? And other people, of course, think that it is illegal. For example, it's like the, from, the person from Italy, of course, no, he thinks that their protest should be regulated and cannot break the law anyway. And then the next one is Irishman. Irishman, okay, he thinks that it is, of course, illegal. And the man from the Brazil thinks that it is a form of a protest to draw attention, okay? And next one is the person from the America in Hawaii thinks that it is not necessary to burn the flag as a form of political protest, of course. And the next one is from the, of course, in a same, uh, same country, but different area is from California. He thinks it is illegal to burn the national flag if you really want to do that, you can just go to other countries to do that. Okay. And the second question is, okay, Sherry, do you think children should be allowed to bring a cell phone to school? Um, of course. Um, a lot of parents may say they have to always contact with their children in case of any emergency. But I think usually students do not use their phones in a proper way. Um, sometimes I see a lot of students keep clicking their smartphones during the class. So I think children should not bring cell phones to school because sometimes cell phones make them get distracted. Okay, we start from the first one. Okay, Spanish. They think that bring the cell phone. Okay, it's about the freedom. Bring the cell phone is a satisfy for students because it depends on what kind of class you are in and also how the teacher is going to teach. For example, some classes, he will tell the student to use the cell phone to search some online information, and which I think it is a new way to let the students engage in a class activity. And the Spanish, of course, is a teacher, and I should make the class as interesting as possible instead of putting a plan for students who turn their attention to cell phone. So besides, he thinks that if we make a strict rule about prohibit using of the cell phone during the class, he thinks that students will still have more desire to use them. So why bother? And the next one is about Italian. Okay, Italian thinks phone should be allowed. It's not a weapon, but their usage should be regulated. And Irishman thinks that bring to the cell phone is distracting. It's too distracting. So okay, my my friend from the Irish is um it's kind of like a boss in the restaurant. So he tells his staff to put them in the drawer behind the reception. So if anyone if there's emergency occur, they should just contact the restaurant and then they sh then they, they could reach to their people or coworker. And we see the other, other person say, okay, the Brazilian say, okay, it's all right. It depends on the most of teachers, how you teach a class. And the next one is, okay. Okay, the first one is the American from Hawaii. He is a teacher, so he's still think that it is okay for students to bring the cell phone as, the, as long as they don't ring or disturb others. And the friends from, okay, from California, 
he is a missionary, okay, in some Bible teaching, so he thinks that students should not use the cell phone in a class. If their parents want to keep in contact with their kids, they sh can contact the school to deliver the message. Okay, and the third one is, Sherry, do you think that teacher and student in the public school should have the right to say the prayer together at the beginning of school day? Um, of course, I think people should have the right to show their passion for their own religion. Um, and I think the school should, um, should provide a place for people who have the same religion to do their praying activity. However, at the same time, I think the praying activity should not be promoted in the campus. Also, the school should welcome all kinds of religion activities, not just a certain one. The third question is obvious that everyone is, is agree, agrees that everyone has the freedom to everyone has freedom of religion, so it is okay for them to pray together. But I want to talk the last one, the friends from the California. He is a missionary. He thinks that the teacher should ask the student first and then the teacher can probably not supposed to pray for the entire class without permission, but teacher can play for an individual one if the one person wants him to. Okay, the next one is, do you think that the government should be allowed to listen to people's telephone conversations? Mm, I think the question is very hard to answer because it's a tricky question. Uh, sometimes we have a small talk with our friends or family members, and we may say something like our private matters. We don't want to be listened. However, I think if it concerns with national security, I think it is okay for the government to listen to a certain kind of people, to listen to their conversation. I think it's okay. Okay, this question almost like divides the two groups. One group say yes, of course. Yes, it's because they think that it will have, there is some terrorists were happen in the country, so they think that if the government have right to listen to their daily conversations or telephone conversation, probably some threat of the terrorism can be avoided. And the other group is saying no, because it's kind of like, as we know, a matter of privacy. The government shouldn't have a right to pray into the citizen's life. They say that we elect, elect the government official to serve us rather than monitor people. So when it comes to the public safety, if, if the bad people really want to assassinate the president or doing something illegal, we, sh we cannot stop them merely just from their telephone conversations. Okay. And that's our presentation. Thank you for listening.